Now, I know you spend a lot of time talking to your friends because, you know, that's what teenagers do, especially in lessons. However, have you talked to them about physics? If you do that, that's going to really help you understand the kind of stuff that you're covering. For example, if you find that the stuff is particularly hard and you need to ask for help, the fact that you're talking about the subject, you know, to your friends, to your peers, people in a very similar position to you, if, if you're doing that, it helps them explain stuff to you and that kind of often kind of solves kind of maybe 50% of the questions that you might have. And they might just point you in the right direction or whatever. Now, the other thing that you can be doing is if you find that the work is particularly straightforward and you understand it, but maybe other people don't, then talk to the people who don't understand it. By you explaining things, you're going to understand that stuff in a lot more detail. And if you're unsure, if you can't quite explain it, that means that you don't know it. I know this a lot from doing all these videos. If there's stuff that I'm not sure about, it's really hard to make a video. And I think it's often quite obvious if people don't understand what they're talking about, okay? Especially with stuff like video where, you know, people like you, you can post comments, you can ask questions. So before I make one of these videos, before I teach things, I have to know it. And the more I teach it, the better I really understand that. And even now, uh, after teaching for sort of, this is my seventh year of teaching now, I keep, you know, realising new stuff all the time or thinking about different ways or different examples or different practicals that I can do. And that's basically making these videos has actually improved my teaching a huge amount. But that's because I'm talking about physics and I'm kind of ordering that process and thinking about explaining to my own words. And that's absolutely essential. So what you've got to do is spend a lot more time talking to each other, to the people in your class, to your peers about the physics. If you find it easy, then explaining it becomes a lot harder. So that's the kind of thing, especially if other people don't understand it, you've got to then maybe think about different analogies and ways to explain the physics. If you do that, you're going to understand it to a lot, to, you know, to a much greater depth, which again is going to help you a lot when it comes up to your exams. So yeah, so that's my advice. Just talk to each other about the physics that you're doing and it will really, really help your understanding either deepen or grow. If you do that, again, you're going to be assured of a much greater chance of success in your summer exams. Thank you.